Hey, what's up? It's Hugo here. Today I'm going to be doing my review on CRAM, which is an application for your Mac that helps you learn for your tests or your exams, uh, whatever you're studying. So let me get right into it. So once you start off CRAM, you have the welcome screen with two general options. Number one is to generate an example test, and number two is simply to jump right into it and create your own test and start to learn. Of course, you also have the option to hide uh, the screen for next time you start off CRAM. So, I've got my example test here of US presidents, so that's created by the CRAM itself, and uh, just to show an example how it works. So once you selected your test, you have uh, a preview picture with your average score, as well as a few other statistics here, your high score, the amount of attempts you had, the last attempt, uh, what day it was, and stuff like that. So let me just show you how the test works by simply creating one. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder here at the side, and you can, for example, create a new folder for each subject you have, so I'm going to go ahead and create a mathematics folder and create a new test here. So once you chose the name and the description for your test, you can simply go ahead and choose those few options, random questions, random answers. So that's simply going to uh, change the order in which the questions appear and the answers as well. So it's not always going to be the same. Uh, so you don't remember uh, what the order was, otherwise it gets too easy. As well as you can time your test. So for example, you want to time your test you want to give yourself uh, 10 minutes and you click OK. So once you create your test, you click on Add a Question to add some questions and you click on a new question. And this is really simple as you see. You have your questions, you have your options, so it's multiple choice. And uh, you can add images and songs or audio as well to help you. So let's, let me do some questions here, one plus one for example. You do the options you have and then you put uh, the check where the correct answer is, so for example here two, and then you have the option to add and close and add another if you want to quickly uh, create multiple questions. So let's do one more, one times three, three times three, and you select the correct answer. You can have multiple correct answers of course, and again you can add an image, so that's pretty simple. You simply get an image from your hard drive, you drag it to this little window, and boom you have your image. You can also add audio, for example, you're doing a test on music, you might want to add audio uh, to help you out as well. And then you simply do add and close once you're done. And then you can uh, start your test. So, uh, of course, it comes in a random order. So you so select your answer. And here, for example, for this question, I had an image, so I click on the image button, and it shows me the image I included in the question then maybe it helps out whatever you're doing with the image. And then once you finish your test, you have the option to share it to Twitter as well if you want to share your score. And you have a few statistics of what you have here. Um, so that's pretty cool. And uh, now the pretty nice feature they had to uh, learn before actually doing the test is the flashcards. Uh, with the flashcards, uh, really simple. Um, you have your question and then the other side of the card you have the answer and you have a question, you have a card for each question of course. Um, so that's great to learn, you also have the image if you want to. And um, they've added a, a test portal which is a way to share your test online and I'm quickly going to show you what that is. Uh, for test portal you have two portals, you have the CRAM test portal which you'll need to create an account for and the Quizlet portal which doesn't require any account. So I'm going to go in the CRAM portal and here you have all your tests, so they have over 4,400 tests, and they have all the different categories here. So, uh, for example, you want a, a test in technology, go, browse all the tests, go to the second page, third page. You've got a ton of different tests, as you see. So let me just simply choose uh, this one, for example. You download the test, and it downloads the test to the selected folder. Then you also have the second portal, which is Quizlet. They have over 10,000 tests here. Um, and they've got way more categories because they've got all the different languages and stuff like that. So right here you can see there are a ton of different categories on Quizlet. They've got a ton of different languages on the subjects. Uh, they really got a lot and a lot of tests here. You can see over 10,000 tests. So that's pretty cool. You can uh, easily download your test. It doesn't take long at all. Once you're downloaded your test, simply select your test, start a test and you're ready to go. So once you start your test again, uh, multiple choice questions here and uh, you can uh, simply this is a test that somebody else did and I can quickly do it on my computer so that's pretty cool you can share your test and also the test 
you create, you can upload them uh, to um, the CRAM test portal. So once you finish your test, again, you have the option to share it to Twitter. Uh, and you have your score, a few other statistics here, and uh, you're done. So that's, that's how CRAM works. And uh, once you finish the test, you can simply share your test. Um, and you need a minimum of three questions. So let me share this test, for example, quickly. And then you select your category to which one you want to upload it, uh, to which category, and uh, you're good to go. So uh, that's about CRAM. That's my review on CRAM. Uh, be sure to check them out at simpleleap.com. I'll leave definitely a link in the description if you want to check them out. And I'll also be doing a giveaway pretty soon. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.